Companion decks are everywhere. But as the Lord righteously said, the sinners will have their cheeks clapped. Whenever an overpowered combo emerges, the metagame tends to respond with high risk, high payoff decks, which in modern takes the form of artifacts and enchantments. So in other words, we must deal with lurus decks that target us while also dealing with artifacts and enchantments. And that brings us to daddy's masterpiece today, Gem Razor Bogles with Leyline. Companion decks make Leyline so good because companion cards are announced before mulligans are taken. So if our opponent says, hey, I got a Lurus, then we know to keep a hand with a Ley Line. And if our opponent says, hey, I got a Yorion, and our opening hand has a Ley Line, there's no need to keep that Ley Line. But the real gem of the deck is Gem Razor. For three mana, we mutate onto a creature, turning the creature into a 4-4, giving it Trample and Reach, and most importantly, we destroy target artifact or enchantment. So in other words, for three mana, we're giving our creature plus three plus three, Trample Reach destroy target artifact or enchantment, and as a last benefit, our creature's mana cost changes to four. And that is relevant because the two main threats to Bogles out there is Blast Zone and Engineered Explosives. And it is just so good considering all 12 of our creatures have Hexproof, including the unusual edition Ledge Walker, which can only be blocked by flyers. There are quite a few Bogles decks in the modern meta, but all of them run Lurus, which sadly means that Leyline and Gem Razor are not seeing any play. But Leyline is just so good right now. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. The rest of the main deck is a typical Bogles deck, basically just a ton of enchantments. But now on a sideboard, we have Creature Hate, Aggro Hate, Graveyard Hate, Control Hate, Activated Ability Hate, and of course, a fourth Gem Razor. That is the deck. Now let's see how good this deck is. Be sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Without further ado, here's gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, no early creature, but our opponent is a Lurus deck, and we have Leyline, so we'll keep. <laughs> opponent concedes. If only they knew what was in our hand, just nothing. Our opponent is very likely a red black Lurus deck because why else would they instant concede? So we're bringing rest in peace, path to exile, and with that, let's go to game two. Oh, this is not great. Worst case scenario, kid fetch for Dryad Arbor. So in that case, we'll keep. Looks like it's Mardu Lurus. Now they're tapped out. Dryad, Umbra, and swing for two. They could still kill it. But no, they go with Lurus. How strange. And cool land. So we'll go armor, armor, swing for 12. Oh, and they take it. <laughs> they like it rough. Monastery. Oh, what is this? A tear just like in my anus. Wait, why? Our opponent can seeds. So in other words, opponent in game one knew we were Bogle's deck, and they wanted to keep their deck a secret, so they took out the removal, and lo and behold, all they needed was removal. What a great spanking to start us off. Now it's on to the next spanking. Opening hand, meh. And our opponent's a Genki Gigantha deck, which means we probably don't need Leyline, so we're gonna mull. And I suppose this will do. Oh, I was kind of expecting it to be Tron. Perhaps Niv Delight instead. But I suppose it doesn't matter, because the spanking will be hard and fast. And it is Niv Delight. Swing for four. Opponent plays Renin six. Not a third land. Oh well. Play the walker. An Astrolabe. If we can hit a third land next turn, it'd be so cool. Taking out the Astrolabe. They return a land to hand. And come on, daddy wants to land. Hooray! Take that and say goodbye to your astrolabe. Plus, they lose. Oh no, I've made a grave mistake. Why didn't I put Gem Razor on the scout? Because we have to sacrifice. Sometimes I get so caught up in the moment. Upon a plays Gigantha and an armor, but Gem Razor. Now we have Trample. So they block and take two. And please don't make a sacrifice a creature again. No, they concede. That would have been so bad if we lost to the guy. Oh my gosh. Going into game two, we're bringing in Teague. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hands, not too bad. So we're going to keep. Play a land, pass it back. Opponent pass it back. So we'll play the ledge walker. They pass back to us. So let's do this. Teague. Okay. Umbra. Okay. And they helix the Teague. All right. Back to our opponent. And they pass back to us. We pull a fourth land. Save his option. Play a gem razor. But in case they make a sack, we'll hang on to our land and fetch for dry arbor if we need to. Oh, abrupt decay. Very suspicious. I wonder if they have board wipe next turn. Probably. All right. No, they play Gigantha. So they probably don't have board wipe. Pull an Umbra. So Umbra. Rancor. And it can't be blocked by non flyer. So take seven. And back to our opponent. And wow. They just pass back. But why? Play Rancor? Swing for nine. How can they get out of this? I don't think they can. Oh, they're making a move. They ask boss on Rancor, which means they'll be at one. All right, replay Rancor. But realizing they have been outmatched, there is the concede. Another companion deck spank. Now it's on to the next match. Opening hand, our opponents a Boreon deck. But we'll keep. Play Bogle. Oh, and a snow deck, our favorite. Okie dokie, armor. Rancor. And swing for five. Opponent passes. Ooh, and decisions, decisions. Let's do this. Daybreak. They remand it. Sure. But now I'll take this. Ha <laughs> ha. Eat nine damage. And hooray, there's a concede. Going into game two, we're bringing in a lot. Anti-artifact, anti-big stuff, anti-graveyard. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, a lot of creatures. We'll try it. Astrolabe with only four more cards in hand. Huh. Oh, good. Okay, play Bogle. Opponent passes. And hooray, we get a land. Play the Umbra. Cool, play the Armor. It remains it. Sure. It's spanked for two. They play land, pass back. Oh, nice. That could be for next turn. They know we have the Armor, so we'll just play it. They let it happen. Right on this land. Play Boon. And they counter it. Sure. They be desperate. Swing for four. Disease. Oh, Dead of Winter. They think they're so clever. So we lose all our creatures. So look at this. Bogle, Umbra. And it turns out they're not banned snow. They might even be Sultai Reclamation, which happens to also be snow. They pass back. Please land. Hooray. Time for them to eat our booty hole. Gem Razor. Goodbye, Astrolabe. So they could fetch for Mystic Sanctuary, getting back the Dead of Winter on top of their library. But then they won't have a Black Source, unless they have another Astrolabe in hand or another land in hand. In which case, there'll be no bueno for us. So let's see what happens here. They fetch for a Trium. And they are Reclamation. All right. That could be a problem. If they have Cryptic here, we be in trouble. No Cryptic? All right. They go to one. Factor Fiction. Talk about a whiff. How should we sort this? They can't fetch anymore to get back Dead of Winter.
factor. I don't think they can get out of this. We'll keep these separate like this, but yeah, they take the factor fiction. Nexus of fate. All right. So we'll take an extra turn. They play factor fiction, but no matter what we give them here, it looks like it's the end for them. So like this, they take the mystic sanctuary. What can they do? I'm so confused. Charm on top. They scry and draw. They play ice fang and praise the magic gods. There's the concede. That game was so close to being bad for us. And gem razor certainly saved us. Another spanking down. Now it's on to the next spanking. What is this? Our opponent has no companion. How shocking. And this will keep. Play the scout. Oh, is this merfolk? Sadly, it looks like they're gonna get caught up in our spanking. Play bogle pass back. Oh, and they spread our cheeks. But luckily, it's on the planes because now we'll do this. Gem razor. Bye bye vile. And swing for six. Pawn passes. Oh, and that knives. Another gem razor. Oh, and there's a concede. That was fun. Going into game two, we won't be needing light lines. So we'll dump this for this, and with that, let's go to game two. Opening hands pretty gross. So we'll have to mole. This is kind of bad. But yolo, as the kids say. I'm gonna pass this back. We'll pass back to them. Very suspicious. Pass back again. And a turn to Trickster. Lord of Lances. And I think we gotta make a move here. Dryad Arbor. Oh, and a Ledge Walker. Nice. Gonna be a close call here. Play Ledge Walker. Then Rancor. And we'll see if we can survive this. They animate Meat Vault. Swing for eight. Big Cox. No blocks. And if they have any interaction here, we dead. Rancor. Daybreak. Oh, wait. Do they have Spell Pierce? I didn't even think about that. Oh, no Spell Pierce. Nice. Oh, but they balanced a Daybreak. That's not great. But there's still a little hope left. They'd be swinging for eight. Shump. Now we be at two. Going to one. If they do anything here, we lose. Uh, swing for eight. And they bounce. Yep, we're going to game three. New no changes to sideboard in our hand looks very nice. We'll keep. Play the scout. Opponent passes back. Let's go Umbra. Other Umbra. It hits now. Swing for three. Oh, and look at them. They be playing a chalice. But all we need is one more land. <laughs> swing for three. Play Lights Walker and pass back. Oh, they playing something. A death with Trickster in hand. Oh, no land. Okay, spank for four. They be at ten. Now it's back to them. Opponent swings and passes. And not a land, but a very good pull. Daybreak. Oh, but they counter. Fine, they have to make this hard. We're very close. They swing. They pass. And no third land, but another daybreak. Let's try it. Will it hit? No, because our opponent concedes. I'm kind of bummed we didn't hit that third land for Gem Razor, but eventually Gem Razor would come out to play. Now I'll be on to the next match. Opening hand, no companion for our opponent, which means they probably don't have discard. And assuming we keep Rancor in the daybreak, our hand's not that terrible, even though it's kind of terrible with three creatures. So we're keeping. Oh, we'd be up against Amulet Titan. Another creature? No. Whatever. Play the scout. On games two life. And plays the Dryad. Where is Gem Razor when we need one? No Gem Razor, but another daybreak. So let's do this. Rancor. Bogle. And pass back. Opponent explore. Plays a bunch of lands, only one card in hand, and so many creatures. But on the right side, Daybreak, swing for six. They chumping, and it's back to them. Oh, they be going for the Titan, and with Dryad out, that's gonna hurt. They grab Valcut and Field, so it was Dryad, take three, and they get two zombies. Oh, but another land, oh, this problem. Okay, okay, play another Daybreak, swing for nine. They chump with all three, all right. Looks like they just buy in time. They pay four for last turn's pack. If they go with the Field strategy and get more Fields, that's probably the best way to go. Oh, grab Growth Chamber and another Valcut. They're in a pretty good position here because they can play extra lands lands this turn. But even if they do, the lifelink here will bring us back. So blocks like that. We go back to 21. They replay their land and they transmute, grabbing a summoner's pack. So we take six more. That's a lot of damage. Full land. All right. Umbra. Swing for 10. Baby soaking it up. Play ledge walker and pass back. Baby packed them again. This might be the end of us. Now they play in Titan. that be 12 damage. And yep, that will be the end of us. They bounce the line to hand, replay it. And now we're going to game two. Going into game two, we're bringing in gem razor and path. And with that, let's go to game two. Open hand, bogle, gem razor, and ley line. We will keep. Play Bogle. Land tap for them. And a Rancor. Yes. How nice. Swing for five. They play an amulet and a grazer and a growth chamber. Please, Magic Gods, we need a land. Oh, All right. It's not too bad, I guess. Let's play Daybreak. If they have Force of Vigor, we're screwed. Oh, that was easy. All right. Swing for eight. They chomp. Trample puts them to 10. And they play the Dryad. And explosives. Oh, man. That's super lucky of them. Because we had Umber in hand. Oh, my gosh. And man, oh, man. They have Titan. They just had the perfect opening hand. And we do pull Bogle. But I think it might be too late at this point. Let's meet for a Summoner's Pack. Grabbing a Sage Little take out our enchantment. All right, at this point, they have us. If our streak's gonna come to an end, at least it is not at the hands of a companion deck, but we had a good run. Well, I certainly feel better. It was quite therapeutic spanking all them companion decks, and Gem Razor was very good. Be sure to subscribe if you wanna see more modern content, and here are today's winners of the free deck box giveaway. You could win one as well. All you gotta do is interact in the comment section below, but that wraps up this video. Stay safe, and as always, I hope you have a great day.